right, just a little overview on some of the features on the SAT tracker. So right now we are dealing with uh, firmware 5.6.00. If you don't have that, all you do is click on this check for update button, agree on the warning box and hit okay, and it'll check for updates for you. Updating your SAT is as, as simple as that. Always check the change log by clicking over here. You can visit our website and get the instruction manual all from the about tab. Depending on your orientation, you can move the uh, polar window to point uh, toward your seating direction. Some of the new features that we have added, the TLE update and the frequencies are separate now. So to do a TLE update, you just click on the TLE update button and then come down here and do your internet update. If you do reset from internet, what will happen is it will wipe out any saved settings in the frequency database that you have. So unless you wanna do a master reset, I would use the internet update. So to update your TLEs, just click on this button, update your frequencies, click on this button. You can also set it to do automatic updates. And this here is for your uh, ground track. This here is your rotator settings. We are also compatible with PST rotator. So you can click on PST rotator, put the IP address of the computer that PST rotator is on. And now your SAT tracker can control PST rotator to control other non Yesu rotators. Under your network tab, when you first log in, it's gonna say CSN SAT and your serial number. You wanna to connect to that Wi-Fi network. Then go into this tab here, click on the drop down and pick your network that you're gonna use, put your password in and hit connect. And then your box should uh, do a reset or restart. And you should say Wi-Fi connected. And now you would connect with the new IP address that is displayed on your box. Your radio settings, you have your standard settings that we've always had, and we've added the after pass. So after pass, you can have your radio do nothing. You can restore it to the VFO that you had. You can set it to a certain frequency, a memory channel, uh, or a call channel. You can put the frequency in here. You can say whether you would like it to be lower sideband, upper sideband, uh, DV, and put the PL tone in. So that's after the pass, it would restore your radio back to uh, certain settings that you, that you like. Under your location tab is the normal stuff. You put your call sign in, put your grid square, your time offset, um, depending on, on what you're looking for. We've added this uh, time in UTC. So now you can click on this box and all times will be uh, displayed in, in UTC time. The QSO log, everybody is familiar with that. You can uh, log your QSO, put all your information in, you can have a comment in here and the comment, uh, if you use any of these uh, symbols here, what it will do is add the satellite name or their name or your name into the, into the log entry. We have the uh, pass log, 
which if you've worked several passes, you can go back and look and see what times uh, you've worked them. Then we have the window button, which allows you to break out uh, another window and you can choose whether you wanna see the map, whether you wanna see different things. And that window there can be dragged out to um, another computer screen. Under schedule, you can add some schedules in to your passes. You can also set it to uh, the transponder that you'd like it to pick. Let's bring up uh, the space station. One of the new features that uh, we have added with this software is you can come in here and for, let's say for the voice, uh, uh, the voice mode. So if you wanted to use the voice repeater, you can click on uh, the frequency over here. And now you can uh, set the PL and it will, it will save. You can also, um, not on the space station, but if on the satellite that has a RIT offset, you can save the offset and it will uh, stay in there. So these are a couple of the new features. You can also come over here and you can add, uh, and you can put a little note in here. So uh, uh, enjoy working the ISS. So if you enjoy working the ISS, you can come in here and you can save that. And now it will add it in here with a little, a little note that, um, and you know that you enjoy working that. Or you can say that only works in sun or only works in uh, eclipse or whatever little note you'd like to add in there. You can also put your own uh, transponder with your own frequency. So if you're gonna do FT4, or one of the other digital modes, uh, you can set that all up in there. And then if you want to um, edit it, you can come back in here. If you wanna remove what you added, you just click on the remove box, say okay, and it will remove it. Anything that you add and any changes that you make um, will be saved and will stay um, in the SAT unless you do that reset from internet uh, that I was talking about earlier. One new feature uh, that we added is your radio will be in the last state that you left it. So if I disable my radio and I search for uh, the ISS again, it will load the ISS, but it will not activate my radio. So whatever my radio is set to will, will stay uh, during the time being. So right now my radio is not enabled, but my antenna is enabled and it will start to uh, move around. If I enable my radio now, it will start to do tracking. and continue once you pick your transponder. As always, please check our manual. And if you have any questions, you can always send us an email.